Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is a large forehead coming at you on his birthday who just had to restart the uh, video because you know what? I don't, it, it, it happens. Plain shirt and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where uh, we talk to Chadley a whole lot. And we're about to do that a whole lot right now. We're about to finish Cosmo Canyon before we move on. I did finish these Proto Relic gears and gambits gambits and gears whatever mini games i can go port over there to show you one of the scores for them but i did these off stream because they took i did some work myself then i looked up the guide site that i trust for all the remake information but the guide site that i have for these was not great and that did not work so i did some more digging and some more research into how to tackle Your those efforts, have you, perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia and uh, i found a strat that worked it still took me like another hour just to do those four challenges i was not going to record that but now we're going to get materia that's all the material for the zone yes if there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. And before we jump in, I was going to double check Tifa because she needs that material we just got. Although I don't think she has space for it right now. She doesn't necessarily need the poison, but her not having any magic offensive is kind of fine. I just try to keep my characters kind of rounded out so they have options. If she's using enemy skill, I'm just going to move this poison to someone else then. Or, or I could do this. I was thinking about doing this the other day, but I didn't get around to it. Tifa is so offensive, I think she takes the hit. You make one of these. Let me upgrade it. It only goes up by one and one stat, which is insane. Yeah, because we have two of these now made for swaps. Man, losing 30 magic resist is crazy. Oh, magic defense, rather, is crazy. I think about giving her the Celestial Bangle from Nanaki, but then, I don't know. It's his. He earned it. It's from his quest line. Although that doesn't necessarily matter. Oops. That is the... Okay, we're hitting all the wrong buttons now. Oh, is that how you can actually remove materia loadouts? Oh, look at that. If you unequip, you actually can remove the game remembering your materia loadout. Which is actually kind of helpful due to the fact that sometimes you want to swap materia in and you don't remember which one you were using. Well, I didn't know that. All right, and then we've got Steadfast Block. And then we've got... We're going to give her a Precision Defense now too. I think we'll use... I'll give Nanaki another one back. And what else we got here? Now she's got a new... She can go luck up. We don't have any magic ups yet. Do we? We do not. Interesting. Granted, I could give her a a spirit up, but still not going to make up for the difference of the, what she just lost. Strength up could be totally fine here. Because if I was going to give her luck up to raise her crit chance, I might as well just give her the earring. Could do speed as well. I'm really looking for that deadly dodge, which we don't have yet, or the ATB assist material which we also don't have yet she just had poison before i 
Could do jump. ATB boost will be good later. And having a chakra would be fine too as a response, but the two elemental materials that I imagine we're not going to have any more of. I don't like usually using stuff on Tifa that it stops her from engaging. Could start leveling this up, poison and petrify. We have this poison is maxed. Although most things are immune to uh, petrify. This is so much material in this game. Once we get out of this, we'll be doing a lot of a lot of combat. So I'm just trying to. I feel like if you're going to use jump material, you have to macro it. I do wonder if it has iframe. Because Tifa already has a jump mechanic with focus strike. Because with focus strike, you... I think just giving her provoke just gives her one and one defense. That's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a, uh, a strength from red here, which means red could use probably start getting this some um, use right there and then, uh, Another HP up to soak, even though how many HP ups do we have on people? One. We already have all seven soaking. And you can only ever wear one. You could only ever wear one. You know what? Give him a another precision defense. We're talking about precision defense on characters that you don't usually play, or when you let the AI take control of them. It does improve their ability to get immune hits. And it almost feels like a mandatory thing to put on every character, unless you really only main one character. Is to have every single person precision defense and every person a, uh, a steadfast block, which actually I just noticed. Oh, I gave him a cess because that's right. Because when I was, he was solo. Well, he was with Barrett, but. Oh, I don't have any more steadfast blocks. Look at that. Huh. Need to get some more. The provoked material seems like a, a good one for Nanaki since he wants people to attack him. Okay. Just making sure everyone's got... Yeah. I should probably put that poison on someone else because we do have a max level poison material. I'm always happy but. to help. Cloud. Thanks to the monster, I kindly invite you to give it a try. Let's go. We have a lot of combat sim. I think we'll start off with Bahamut. No point in doing full might. So Maybe? Nope, I need to assess him. I'm dumb. Go on. You have to back out. <laughs> well, let's do it on power two. So it's at least not a complete. There we go. Very cool looking. Best do it right.
This draconic king evolved beyond knowable limits into a legendary god of destruction. Everything. Now, let me at him. Oh, I was wondering what that so was. That'll do. Ready? Making the dream work, am I right? Together? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Why don't you leave the limit at me all? Hey, got it. Come on. Ooh. Is he gonna stand still? Bajillion times. And it is really hard to hit him, as one might imagine. Hits me even when I'm up above him.
Pretty sure we still win, but whatever. So minus two powers, just one stagger, and he's done. All done. So I guess comparing it to the remake version, the particle charges are his countdown. Because Bahamut, before doing Giga Flare, would just count five, four, three, two, one. This one, I guess, just does the. Particle absorption was at three or four times. And then does Giga Flare. Bahamut Arisen has fallen. Well done. I had no idea the God of Destruction could evolve further, but I now suspect it could surpass even these limits. With this crimson terror at your command, I almost pity anyone who is foolish enough to try and stand in your way. I wish you all the best in your... Now the question is... What's the materia do? Same stats as Ramu, less HP, more mana. Strange. Oh my god, the Giga Flare animation. More of a standard Dragon's Breath type attack. Usually it's a huge AoE bombardment of... Oh, it does that too. And then he opens up his laser wings. I mean, it feels like I should go on Tifa anyway, even though it's an HP loss. Not a strength loss, though, so... Tifa just can build 2 ATB really quickly to summon it. Not everyone can build 2 ATB really fast. In I'm going hunt for world intel. Perhaps the Chocobos here develop the ability to glide through the air... Cut him off. Whoops. Okay. You know what? These are just the zone of Simulations. Just like that, okay? I do like hearing Nanaki's normal voice in combat now, too. Gigant bomb. Don't overdo it. Go for it. Let me handle this. Yeah. Hey! Thanks.
sure I like that noise. being there on the previous one. Level boost. Kind of lame that Maximum Fury doesn't actually consume ammo, so it doesn't use, it doesn't turn as a bonus round. a bonus ammo and then you would use an ability that just auto attacks a lot it would use the bonus ammo but it does not oh cactus yeah yeah scan these these are the normal ones these silly faced speedsters Flit about the sands, leaving only a flash of green in their wake. the
What the heck? ability Kind of weird. Here is our first magic up. Oh, antediluvian memories. It's a fun word, antediluvian. Interrupt. You okay? Sorry, but I got run. That wasn't so bad. Run like a chocobo, sting like a tonberry. Crab. Let's go. On it. Gotcha. 
Okay. So much more petrified than I remember. Okay. Ah! Yeah. is a restart. I don't have clouds. The one with the dispel. Hope you have sweet dreams. Oh, this Hagen is doing it, is he? They're both doing it, actually. You don't got no spells. And Petrify never wears off. Dang it, come on. No way. Never help me out. Wanna beg for mercy? Got me now. Just keep the head. Well. <laughs> Careful, SpongeBob. Should have taken the Sahagan out first. So we have a magic up materia now. Are my trials not challenging enough? I look forward. Chadley, I just dunked on a bunch of them. Now the question is. I know someone has to use the magic up to start getting XP on it. ATV boost, see ya. You're good, but not that good. I rarely ever fully utilize you as well. Magic up is also nerfed. No, not nerfed. They didn't nerf magic up, so you can use four of these or probably the earring i imagine there might be magic up earrings has a hundred percent bonus magic power on tifa late game might be insane 
if she has the same weapon synergies. It's actually one of the ways to make her do the most damage in Remake is you stack her with magic up with elemental materia that's fully stacked and then give her, if you want to do caster Tifa. So you do, because so much of her damage comes from elemental materia because of how many times she attacks and it's consistent damage, whereas like making her do more uh, crits is RNG. But if you double her magic attack, which increases the damage of every basic attack by a flat amount because of elemental materia, and then some of her abilities hit like five, six, seven, eight, ten times in a row, like when she does Star Shower, it's one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, where every single attack is flat magic damage as well. That will be good later, but not now. To sing what new discoveries you make in your travels. What a beautiful thing. I only wish that I had been afforded the Going opportunity. back in, Chadley. Going back in. All right, region intel now. I don't know if this will be a scannable. Shinra? Yeah, not Junon. Strongest ability in the game, and that's that. Black. Aerith's charge attack and Cloud's charge attacks are both so stupid if you can spam them. Who want three to four thousand damage? There you go. There you go. There you go. These are parade. In public security division. <laughs> I've been stunned. I'll take care of them. Busy? Let me at him. Of course. Uh, special, special uh, cat trot. Oh, I didn't scan bloat floats. It scanned. Get him. I got your number. Need to frost, huh? Don't overdo it. All set. <laughs> Celebrate. Um, um, um. 
It's funny how Shinra soldiers are basically like the level one blobs or, you know, skeletons of Final Fantasy VII. Everything weak to frost. All right. Deal with that. I got this. Oh, it's pretty close. Fell on the You know what? It's not gonna be enough to do much with him, but let's see what he does. We're counting on you. Dragon. So handsome. You're up. Taking over. This poor Sahagan. Hold on. <laughs> poor Sahagan, though. Yeah, it wasn't as, as amazing as I thought. He did dodge kind of part of it, though, weirdly. Both of his abilities are two. Yeah. Honestly, he might not last long enough. I do kind of want to see this fish get Giga Flared. Well, that's unfortunate spacing. Poor fish. need to get a different a different uh time summoning that on something and try to get a uh, screenshot i'm pretty sure that's gonna be tough to get a good frame of it's not gonna be damage cap because we're not max level also i didn't notice that it hit multiple times so it might be damage cap it doesn't it doesn't hit once does it there's multiple beams. Maybe it was hitting multiple, multiple, multiple times. Am 
Mako infused demons and monsters versus Jimmy from next door holding a gun. Makes you wonder why they even bothered to invent guns in this world. <laughs> it is funny. I was talking about power scaling in the Final Fantasy VII world a couple of streams ago. But sometimes in the cutscenes, I talked about, I think I started talking about this in Remake. Early in Remake, it shows Cloud doing a superhero jump where he jumps really, really far, but then he never does it again. It's like seeing force speed in the prequels. They use it once and then like never, ever, ever, ever again, right? So in seven terminology, in some of the cutscene stuff or some of the story-based power scaling, your characters are strong, but I was looking at Barrett's level three limit break last night and it's, it's the satellite one. How does anything ever fight anyone? If you come to this power scale, if you're these characters, Barrett can just shoot up into the sky and then a bajillion laser beams rain down death and destruction in front of him in a wide area. Who, what? I mean, Cloud just hits you with his sword a lot of times. Sure, it hurts. Ouchie. But like, space lasers? Big ouchie sword. Space lasers? Big ouchie sword. Yeah. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Sora casually cut massive, not hollow at all buildings easily to jump like 8 billion feet. Next game, he's like, oh, nah, you forgot all that because darkness. Yeah. I wonder if there's any interesting interactions because in uh, Remake, you get Bahamut way later in the game. But if you go back and do hard mode, your new game plus playthrough, and you go do Hell House, like I did, and when you fight Hell House, if you summon Bahamut against the Hell House, the announcers both have bespoke reaction lines to Bahamut, the King of Dragons, gracing them, gracing us with his presence. They both freak out if you summon Bahamut. No other, like other summons probably have lines too, but Bahamut, because you don't have him at that point in the game, it's neat that they actually put something bespoke for Bahamut, <laughs> considering. And now Bahamut Arisen in Rebirth is a god of destruction. So like, sure. All right, this is, that's the smell. Rancid breath. I'm assuming this is going to be a, is this a Marlboro? Marlboro Prime or whatever? A great Marlboro? Now. Go on. Cannot heal. Not heal. Here I come. Uh -huh. No more games. It's over. Yeah. Because he still casts Fetid Haze. Mm. My turn. Try this.
Yeah, not enough HP. Give it a little 40. Yeah, man, I don't know. Marlboros in 7 Remake and 7 Rebirth are not, not that scary. They have a very global taunt about them, like, oh god, bad breath. But then, I don't know. Even the hard mode, Super Marlboro, hard tier challenge in Remake, hard uh, New Game Plus was not, not hard. I just hit him with Tifa a lot, and he died. <laughs> if there's a single 1v1 boss fight and you have Tifa in your party, Tifa wins. <laughs> it's just so good. Because Tifa exists. All right, that's all the Chadley stuff. This data is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. Ooh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Marlboro, Marlboros. Oh, I, I like how Dalthier types it, Marlboros. We looked that we looked that up the other day. There is, there is Morbles, Marlboros, Marlboros. It's like two or three others. I can't remember them. They're all essentially the exact same thing with a couple different names, which I don't know if that's just. I can't translation help but we'll meet next so many fascinating possibilities or they're just named a little differently because of different game series that they're in because this one the, the great Gungagan one is just I don't know if I passed him or not I kind of understand that this is like a pokedex and they all have a number But I kind of hate how it's not just in alphabetical order or you can't make it alphabetical order. Yeah, this is the Great Malboro. M-A-L-B-O-R-O. Malboro. Or as someone in the chat said the other day, it's the disco plant. Yeah, well, the one in Remake, Hard Mode, New Game Plus, Combat Simulator is a full-on boss. It's a five-wave encounter. You need to do four waves of stuff before you even get to it. And getting to it was harder than it. Let's get this photograph. It's the last thing we have to do here is get this photo. Excuse me, down there. A casual case of daily sex. <laughs> I don't think it's it's dyslexic. I think it's just um, the Mandela effect. Oh, I, I know that I get the joke, yeah. I think that's everything. Let's go turn in the photograph. Wait, where do we turn this photograph in? Wasn't he in Cosmo Canyon? Or do we not turn in photos anymore? We're gonna go beat up some ghosts in a moment. I heard the people say. You are more than the planet. The planet is. I've already turned it enough to be max rank, though, so maybe you don't have to keep turning them in. Door. 
so just go in here. Blessings of the planet be upon you. Are you in need of? Plus, it doesn't trouble the map anymore because you, you got max rank. A seminar is in progress. Hmm. All the time I've spent here, listen. There he is. Oh, I didn't report him to Gaga either. Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Here's something that ought to brighten your day. The association has bumped you up a rank. Congratulations. Honestly, you really ought to show off your work. It bespeaks a beautiful finesse. Never seen anything like it. Some might say it belongs in a gallery. Prodigious photographer. I think I'm starting to think the uh, photography association is just the, it just snaps. There's something that's. I think it's just him. If you find any other scenic locations, let me know. By unlocking the knowledge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's go beat up some ghosts. Last thing we have to do here. I wish we put Red in the party. I don't know if he's going to have different dialogue. Desert penguins. Follow them to the obvious boss spawn. Oh, bunnies. <laughs> Angry, vengeful, undying ghosts. Bunny rabbits.
No, two Sahagan didn't work. How about four? Such power now ours. You are my turn. This time. Come on. All good. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Okay. With me. Ready? Okay. With me. Okay. That it? You ready? Well. Blind them with your brilliance. Remember, angry cat, meow, meow, claws, teeth, all of a sudden, cosmic laser orb. We're not having this discussion again. Red 13, AKA his real name, Nanaki, is a wolf lion hybrid. He literally has a lion's face, but the body of a wolf. So he's hat. He's a cat dog. I'll, I'll accept cat dog. Cat dog is acceptable. Or dog cat. Rosseros, I guess. Oh, so it's still the same thing as the other one, it just adds shield and reflect now. Hate the pressure with, with triple ATB when it goes to concentrate. Deal with that. Here goes. Going in. Look here. 
Seto, I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto, what would you like to know? Hala convinced angry vengeful ghosts that can't die beat him up multiple times and they're like all right fine we'll talk to you <laughs> Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day alone that he might persuade us to cease our ingress though we had braced ourselves for battle we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. He was a beautiful creature in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity that we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. We desire the return of our black materia and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, yet his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. Hmm. One by one, our arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. It was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Mm. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. Oh. Finally. At long last. And thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? Hmm. They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. 
dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it, not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm gonna find a way to release them from their suffering. There's gotta be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not gonna stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. He's a very happy cat dog. Look at him. He's my first max rep companion. He's so happy. <laughs> I suppose the survey team can now resume their expedition. I suppose we can. What's the amulet we got? Strengthens summons called forth in battle. Oh. I wonder if this version in Rebirth is better. The version in Remake was not worth it. It was not worth using. It was only like an 8-ish percent damage bump. Which, once you're late game enough, they usually hit for damage cap anyway. It helps their other abilities, and you basically have to summon with a full squad with lots of ATB to use their basic abilities to make really good use of it. So I wonder if in, in Rebirth is it the same thing? Where it's like kind of good, but not good enough. at the end of Cosmo Canyon now. Oh, I was going to show real quick. I did all three of these off stream. There's my duration and stuff up there. I did all four of them. They are uh, very RNG. And interesting, but not very fun. I had quite the struggle bus trying to figure it out until I just... Oh. Very well. Simply give RoboChat the word when you are ready to proceed. Was that necessary? Why did he... Be booped me. I got be booped. Right, we're all done here. Yep. Corel not done. We could not do the rest of it till we go back. Now the question is, when we go talk to Sid now, do we have to leave or can we go back to other areas? I'm pretty sure it's going to be story based where we will leave and not have free roam. Probably until a later chapter where we can just go places. I was told chapter 12, I guess. You can just go do world stuff anywhere. 
but what's next is chapter 11. Well, let's get that handsome smile back on the screen then. So let's progress main scenario. Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift to Nibelheim, could you? A little far. But not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Well, you can. It doesn't just go into story mode. Oh. Wait. He says Nibelheim is far. But you can take him all the way back to Bill's Ranch in the Grasslands, which is halfway around the world. Yeah, Chadley is very intrusive in Rebirth. He definitely needs to talk about 30 to 40% less. Every time you go do a... the summon minigame DDR thing to strengthen it or to weaken it, every time he talks to you, he doesn't need to do that after the first one. Every time you go to talk to him, he talks to you when you leave that you can't skip. And he does just blip into you on so many occasions during world intel. It's just, it's too much. 30 to 40% less. Oh, officially he takes me to Gungungaga. A new buggy to Costa, boat to Junon, carriage to Grasslands. True, probably true. Yeah. Probably, probably more accurate, yeah. Um... Well, if we don't have to go to Nibelheim, then I would like to finish up something else before we move on. We are cleared for takeoff. If I can just hop to Nibelheim after this, is fine. Appreciate the bitterness. Tiny Bronco flew off. All right. I just like to have everything that I can have done done before I leave. There's no doubt the next area will be. Will be a pretty big locked. Hello? Can't even take it, but it was weird. Okie dokie. That's a lot of influence. They gotta push a three pawn forward or so, but dang. Dang. I kind of want to try to make a maximum disrespect Shiva deck. Where you, all you do is you just try to push pawns and cover the map and then drop Shiva and lock the board. <laughs> Why would the robot refer to itself as an AI? Because it's an AI? Yeah, no Proto Relic's gonna pop yet. That's like introducing yourself as an organic sentient instead of a human. <laughs> human after all. 
Yeah, well, what if he wants to? I don't know. We gonna yuck his yum? Sounds like you're yucking his yum. Hmm. He plays mid. I mean, it's kind of dumb, yes. It's so painful to play first, man. Probably the best play I've got. Man, I really have to block top lane, but I really want to do this. I shouldn't need top lane. This is way more aggressive. Expected. Pretty gross. Yeah, I'm about to say you have cannibalized cards. coming back from this. I just wanted to play a card, I guess. It's like, I want to play a card. <laughs> <laughs> Deletes his eight for a one. What? Sometimes the uh, Queen's Blood AI is moronic. Other times it's, it's a couple of spicy challenges in there. Oh, sh What? Did I open the door? I should have heeded the stories. The warnings. It is an abomination. <laughs> I know that, but still, I... It... 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 It...
It's too late now. She will not be denied. Thank you, R2. I'm currently standing outside the home of Ledrell Balmon, the famed creator of Queen's Blood. Now let's hope he's willing to answer a few questions for us. Uh, what's this smell? It's awful. Mr. Balmon, are you home? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Mr. Balmon is dead. How long has he been in here? It must have been ages. His body is... The results of the autopsy reveals the cause of death to be starvation. The state in which he was found suggests that he had been playing Queen's Blood without stopping to eat, drink, or sleep. I found numerous cards scattered on the floor around him, and... Hold on. What's this? That card... It looks like... The Shepherd. The recording breaks up after that. As it so happens, Mr. Belmont was in possession of the world's one and only Shadow Blood Queen card. However, the card was not found in his home, leading to theories that the reporter who discovered the body stole it. The reporter in question subsequently went missing and... <laughs> Unexpected oh. shutdown occurred. System rebooting. Do not shut off power. What was I doing? Memory restored. I had just registered a loss against you in a game of Queen's Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Version updates required to secure a path to world domination. Thank you very much for playing with me. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Tactician. Speaking of, I've received intel that Regina, the card game maven you met on the Shinra 8, is in Gungaga. Oh. A clash between two players of your caliber would surely be one for the ages. I can't wait to watch. Back to Gungaga. Is Gungaga to be my Kaelid? Oh, you've been watching live. Thank you. Appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying either the game or the forehead. If you've been watching on YouTube. Thank you as well. We have some more stuff to wrap up before we move on, but it shouldn't be too much more. I think we're going to go down here into the, it's somewhere over here, over here. No, one of these, I forgot. We're going to the fighting pit. Maybe it's here. I'll see y'all in the next one.